What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to the BMW M3, my new daily called Nuke version 2.0. And today is an exciting day. This has all happened relatively spontaneously, just as spontaneous as actually buying the car and replacing my Audi A1. When I was in Los Angeles, California, I actually filmed a BMW M3. I couldn't get good footage of it, but it was the factory paint. You can get the frozen gloss black from factory on the BMW and it looks absolutely stunning. All of the lines just become enhanced that little bit more. It becomes very aggressive and the entire car changes shape. And because it's satin, you get all sorts of different lights reflecting of it. And basically, I thought that would be the perfect upgrade or the advancement in the Nuke specification. So when I bought the Audi A1, all I did was de-chrome, black it out and tint the car. Now that I've upgraded the Nuke from the A1 to the M3, I wanna upgrade what the Nuke spec actually means. So now, I'm headed over to Dub Customs to get this car entirely wrapped by Avery's satin black vinyl all the way across the car. I'm obviously leaving the uh, carbon fiber roof and I don't know whether to go gloss black all over the wheels or to leave them diamond cut. So that is gonna be a decision that I'm gonna make over the next three days. Comment below on what you think I should do. I'm very, very much looking forward to wrapping this car in satin black. I've never had a car in satin black. I've seen tons of them and they all look fantastic. It is one of my favorite colors. The majority of my cars on Forza Horizon 3 are satin black. So to actually own one in real life is going to be seriously, seriously exciting. And the rain's starting to come down even harder. So I'm gonna jump in, head over to Dub Customs and then we're gonna get cracking on the wrap. What is this weather? There's my car. Look how good it looks underneath the underneath the cover. Very satin. We're getting it washed first. Oh, we need it outside, does Jimmy? I was just about to drag the car into the wrap bay over there, and then we completely forgot that we needed to wash the car first, because otherwise the wrap will not look good. So my car is uh, now. Got the cover off so I can take that home. But now the M3 is gonna get cleaned. And I've heard that my vinyl is in the wonderful cupboard. There it is, where's the light? Or do I walk in and it open? <gasps> this is gonna be my first satin black car in real life that is not on Forza. I've wanted to do this for ages, but always thought that it wasn't that adventurous. But for the daily, during the winter, satin black is the answer. Two days ago, I dropped my M3 off here, Dub Customs, to get the satin black wrap. And now, let's go and check out what it looks like. I'm so excited. I've never owned a satin black car before, but I've so badly wanted one for ages. First impressions, absolutely spot on. That is exactly the same car that I saw in LA. Oh my God, satin black BMW M3 looks unbelievable. The lines on that car, first of all, are aggressive anyway. Now with the satin black, they're even more emphasized. F1 Wax Stew is currently working on the seats, giving them like a proper coating and protection so that the white leather is fully, fully protected. What he did say actually off camera was that what he's using you can put on carpets, you can pour a glass of wine on the carpets, go away, come back in an hour, and not one particle of the red wine will be on the carpet if you just wiped it up. So that is exactly what I need on those white seats on the M3. They look amazing, but if they're not protected right, they could look pretty awful. They will always stay white, as white as they came out of the factory. And, uh, oh look, here's the, this is the reel of satin black and gloss black from uh, Avery. Satin black, gloss black. And that is what is getting used on the M3. Yeah. 
6 p.m. update. It is dark outside, but my car, the rear bumper has been fully wrapped now and we're just waiting the front bumper, which I don't think I'm gonna catch on film because I'm gonna be leaving here in about half an hour. I've been here for about four hours today. Leaving here in half an hour to try and endure the M25 home. And then tomorrow I'm coming back in the afternoon to collect the car. So it might be that the next part of the video after I show you what it's looking like at the moment is the unveiling. Well, thank you to the M25 for totally sucking this evening on a Friday. I've arrived, turn back on. <laughs> I've arrived at Dub Customs in their Seat courtesy car, which on the back says, my Ferrari is getting wrapped at Dub Customs and this is what they gave me. This is the Seat Me, with a very funky key, as we can see here. And inside, my car is getting wrapped. Here it is pretty much all finished. I think Dan is working on the front grills to get them back in. This is gonna look so damn mean once everything is fitted back up to the car. And I had no idea there's a carbon strut across the front engine. Not that there's a rear engine, but a carbon strut in the engine bay. We are nearly there. Still got no front number plate on. We are putting a temporary sticker front plate on there. Annoyingly, news just in, the P77WSX plate cannot fit on this car yet. The DVLA are shut on a Friday, by the sounds of things. So we're going back to the uh, standard number plate and P77 will be on my car eventually. But for now, it will look like this. And the sun is in my eyes. Ah! Anyway, <laughs> it is the morning after from the night before of me collecting my satin black BMW M3. It was a bit of a surprise and it was so last minute that I thought it was the perfect opportunity to slip in another upgrade to the Nuke version 2.1, I suppose now, because the Audi A1, I blacked it out and it looked super stealth on the road. When I upgraded the Audi, I was like, it needs to be better than just blacked out, tinted black wheels. So I went for a full satin black wrap. There are still a few things that need to happen to this car over the next seven days at Dub Customs, but this weekend, I needed the car. Because it's my daily, I need a car to get around in. Yesterday, I was driving the Seat Me, which was a lot of fun, but this is much more fun. So I'm gonna quickly flip the camera around. We're gonna do one walk around video, and then the next video that I'm gonna shoot on this car, brace yourselves, is an idiot's tour of my BMW M3. I know about 10% of the buttons, about 10% of their technology. I don't know how to open the bonnet, but in this video, or the next video, I'm gonna find everything out that I need to know about the BMW M3 so that I can share the journey with you guys. Enough of me talking, enough of the sun in my eyes. I'm gonna quickly turn the camera around so you guys get to see the wrap and then on to the next video. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you love Satin Black because I think a lot of people out there do. I certainly do, it's one of my favorite wraps. And subscribe if you haven't already because the modifications are gonna be coming thick and fast over the next couple of months so you're not gonna to wanna to miss what is going on with this car. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys. Yeah.